Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and Abvi. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. If you're looking for a new job this summer, have you considered using a recruiter? Your local Express Employment Professionals team is your one connection to endless job opportunities. With just one application, they can help you find a job at a company that fits your requirements. And as always, job seekers never pay a fee. Visit ExpressPros.com. To find the location near you, visit ExpressPros.com and reach out. Whether you're looking for contract work or a full-time position, let Express help. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to The Fifth Thing. I'm Amy. And I'm Kat. And our quote today is unknown. Every year you make a resolution to change yourself. This year, make a resolution to be yourself. (laughs) So good. I don't know if it's said with that yourself vibe. I like it. But that's just how I read it. And we're still Mm. in the first month of the year. There's still time to course correct if you're trying to change yourself. I think it's okay to want to work on yourself. Mm -hmm. And if there's areas that you do actually literally need to change, like if you're working on not snoozing or not procrastinating or not being late or not being a butthead (laughs) to someone, you know? Is that what you're working on? Okay. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I can be, and I, yeah, I don't want to be, I want to be high vibes. High uh, vibes. High vibes. You know what I mean? I, I got it. High like vibes. High, high yeah. energy. I got it. High vibes. Yeah. I don't want to bring people down. I want to bring people up. up. And that includes in my house. And that includes, you know, at work. That includes right now mm-hmm. with you. High vibes. <laughs> Which I know there's times in our friendships, I've been low vibes and I brought you down. I'm sure. I don't know that you specifically brought me down, but I think that's what friendships do is they ebb and flow of I'm supporting you, you're supporting me, Mm. right? I love ebb and flow. Yeah? Mm Mm-hmm. Someone else said that to me recently. I was like, yeah, ebb and flow. You like saying it or like you like ebbing and flowing? No, I like the 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 phrase. The phrase. Yeah. You feel cool when you say it? Something like that. Just let it ebb and flow. Yeah. Someone said it to me. Like I said, I loved it. And then I used it in an email recently, ebb and flow. Mm -hmm. And I was like, felt good. (laughs) Ebb and flow, ebb and flow. I like it. Uh, So anywho, you can work on things with yourself and ways you want to show up differently, but also don't lose yourself to anybody else and make sure you're you're able to be yourself. I like this unknown quote because so many people for good reason don't do resolutions anymore because they're like, I don't want a new year, a new me. I want to be the same person. I don't want to like all that negative energy, but this is saying you can still have a resolution and it's about being you, not taking parts of you away. So love it. Yeah. I feel like being able to be yourself is knowing your story. And sometimes that you might need to get to know yourself. Who are you? Mm -hmm. I feel like at 41, I'm still figuring that out. Mm -hmm. It's a journey. Mm -hmm. Knowing your story, owning your story. What do you bring to the table in relationships? Kind of like we were talking last week. Well, part of you can overflow. If you're not yourself, you're missing the opportunity to, to overflow. overflow as yourself into someone else. If y'all didn't hear last Tuesday's fifth thing, one of our listeners, Ashley, gave us an awesome word, overflow, and shared her perspective of that. And I was like, oh, this is so good. And I have an, actually have an email update from another listener. Ooh. Our girl itself. Back again. Yeah. And now that I think about it, inside her email, which I'm about to read, another listener has overflowed into her Mm -hmm. life. And then when I read you this email, Itzel's words are going to be overflowing into everyone's ears that are listening right now. 
and there's gonna be so much overflow Mm -hmm. and I love it. So I'll just get to it. Amy, I wanted to thank you for my four things pullover. I love it. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. (laughs) Sorry it took me so long to get this email to you. Life has been a whirlwind. You know I have... (laughs) You know I have troubles with... Troubles. That's a hard one. No, I have a trouble with W's and R's. You do? Especially if they're together. Oh, yeah. Whirlwind. Yeah. Whirlwind. Like real world. Real world. Real world. I, if I really <laughs> think about it, I can say it. But you know I used to do commercials for West Rock Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't. West Rock Coffee? West. If I stop and I just sit here and I really West West. Rock coffee. I can do it. Is that what a tongue tie is? When there's a certain, I don't know what that it is. That sounds be, like that your tongue's getting like tied up in the W. Yeah. Can't say the R. There's something about the W and R. So here we go. <laughs> Whirlwind Good job. is hard for me, but here. And then also, since I've deviated from the email already, it's so you don't have to apologize or say, sorry, it took so long to get this email to you. You don't have to apologize, right? Yeah. Like and you know what? A way you can reframe that is saying, Thanks for being patient as I'm just now getting back to you. Right, but it's also- You don't have to say anything. I, I know you have a lot going on, so I actually have zero expectation for you t- to get back to me. We want an update. We want to know. Mm-hmm. But if you chose not to send an update, that would be okay. So I'm not even over here having to be patient. I'm being like, whatever Itzel wants to share, she'll share. Okay, here we go. Life has been a whirlwind- Good job. Since chemo started for me. I knew if I waited to come out on the other side of this, I would be much happier to give you a life update. I finished chemo. It was awful, but I did it. I also finished my first semester of CRNA school with a 4.0 GPA. Some way, somehow, I survived these last several months. It was extremely difficult as my husband was back in Texas finishing his graduate program and was only able to fly in for each treatment. Navigating cancer treatment while in school in a new state with no family, Zero out of 10 recommend. Mm. But my sweet husband has graduated and we are finally reunited in Tennessee, living under one roof with our sweet pup. Oh my gosh, it just hit me. She's in Tennessee. I don't quite remember where. I need to find this out because Tennessee is not like, it's it's not huge. Huge. Like if it's Texas, I'd be like, okay, California is really big. You could be anywhere. But, you know, we announced that the next live podcast is in Nashville. Itzel should be there. A hundred percent. Itzel. If you're listening to this and I'll email you, you got two tickets on me, you. And if you want to bring your husband or you want to bring a girlfriend, you're coming. And you know, honestly, if you do bring your husband, it's going to be fine. There's going to be other guys there. But I say girlfriend because I've been thinking about the night and I want it to be like a successful girl's night out. And Kat, I was thinking about what are the things that make up a successful girl's night out for me? And that would be laughter, sharing, encouragement, and connection. And then when I get home from a successful girls night out, I feel refreshed, empowered, motivated, and seen. And that's really my hope for the evening. So now I'm very excited that Itzel is going to be there. And if anybody else wants to be there gathering your girlfriends, it's going to be a night of, you know, knowing your worth. And I feel like I might even need to bring Itzel on stage because she's been so invested or listeners are invested in her story. And we've shared so much of it here on The Fifth Thing, which Kat and I are going to be recording a fifth thing with people that get VIP tickets. So it'll be a bonus episode and there's not that many available. We wanted to keep it more intimate this time. So I think there's like 44 tickets and tickets will be on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. at franklintheater.com. And I'll also have a link in the show notes and then a link in my Instagram bio to at Radio Amy. So there should be a way to find the links, but okay, I'm just... Very, very excited about this and it's all coming. So anyway, (laughs) back to the email. (laughs) I go into this new year feeling so blessed and empowered by my own strength. I am now halfway through radiation. And even though I still have immunotherapy left for a year and more long-term medications to come, I feel relief knowing that I'm one step closer to life in remission. Thank you for putting me in contact with Sarah from Arizona. She sent me the four things cancer fighter pullover, chemo, radiation, cancer, Suck it. I seriously couldn't believe a complete stranger would do something so touching. It had such an effect on me. It was so generous, and I'm so grateful that she did not suppress that generous thought. 
And thanks again for sharing my story. I read, listen to the episode in which you read my email, and it's amazing to see how far I've come and how much I have grown since that fearful weekend in Austin. I have attached the video of my last chemo session where I got to ring the bell only because I was wearing my four things cancer pullover and I thought you'd like to see. But also this is me here. Seeing someone ring a bell, because I've experienced it firsthand with my mom, it's what you get to do when you finished your treatment and ringing that bell. Like I have goosebumps even reading that you rang your bell itself because I know what a powerful moment that is. So thank you for attaching that. Back to the email. My sweet husband surprised me by inviting all of my classmates to my last session, and I had no clue. They all made posters, and my sister and niece drove in. So many emotions. What did cancer make possible? I got to feel all this love. (laughs) I mean, I know. I'm (laughs) cats tearing up, and I know. I have, yes, I'm the same. Like, I have a lump in my throat reading that. I mean, to be able to look at going through something like cancer and to know that it could be potentially so you could feel all the love from your people is such an amazing perspective itself. And thank you for overflowing this into us. She also said, I got a gratitude journal for Christmas and she posted about it on Instagram. And anyway, we, I had replied to that. So she's talking about that. And she said, love your friend itself. This, I mean, this is just the best email update ever. Mm-hmm. And I know that the, it's not done. And I know I'm, I'm even just assuming by March 25th for the live that you'll feel okay and could come to the live because I don't know your treatment schedule or how you feel because different times, one week you might feel great. The next week you might feel awful, I guess, depending on how things are going. So I will say if on March 25th, no pressure, but you are feeling okay that week, I would love to meet you in person and have you there because that would be super special. And you could even share a word with the crowd and your other fellow people from this community that are there. Because I know right now, people listening, this is already such an encouragement to them. And your story can be an encouragement on a stage like that as well. So anybody that is coming, yeah, we did announce March 25th, Nashville, but tickets go on sale this Friday. I think at 10 (laughs) a.m. So that is exciting. And the VIP tickets this time around are going to include a fifth thing taping. So you get to sit in on Mm. that. And some other cool things that we didn't have in addition to last time. I'm just trying to think of the value if you're buying a ticket like that. What is the, the takeaway? And there's only 44 spots available for the VIP though this time. Just ooh keeping it more intimate. And last time I wanted to talk to so many different people and there was a lot of us. So I kind of just had to gather us in a circle (laughs) and you know, this will just be a little bit different and maybe allow for a Q and a during the fifth thing and people to ask, especially you'll be there as, as a, a therapist, but also I know at an event like that, it's not a replacement for any kind of therapy and you're, I want to respect your position when it comes to the Q and a, and I assume others will. So don't worry, we'll, we'll make sure and check the questions before. But heads up if you want to be a part of that. And it's all, I hope you're able to make it. All right, you got to love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th and Macy's has got you covered. Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 50 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category, like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. Top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. 
That's why each listing on homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Something that I've learned in therapy is that goals are really important. Like, it can really help you out. Like, when life is going so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate how far you've come, celebrate those wins, but also look forward to where you're going. Make adjustments for the rest of the year. And therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next three months, the next six months. I have personally benefited from therapy in so many ways. I feel like we'd be here all day if I were to tell you all of the ways therapy has helped me out, giving me tools to have my back pocket for when we need to bust them out, coping skills, how to set boundaries. I feel so much more empowered uh, because of therapy. So I'm very thankful for it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, well, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Take a moment, visit betterhelp.com slash four things today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash four things. Again, you're going to get 10% off your first month. A 4.0 GPA, I don't know. Do you remember what you had in college? Well, I think I had close to that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah I didn't I go know. to a hard oh, yeah. school though. Yes, whatever. Yes, you did. And I know that one of your greatest pleasures in life is being number one in the class. <laughs> so <laughs> that was, I was, that's undergrad. Grad school, which is my, the hard part of my school. I was at the bottom grade wise. I don't believe it. Well, I, my teacher did a bell curve one time on our exam and I was the lowest grade on the bell curve. <laughs> oh, dang. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess I believe it. <laughs> It's, I never will forget the time your dad said to me, God, it's just so smart at her job and everything she does. I don't even know how she knows all of that. It's crazy how good she is at her job. He's like, but when it comes to street smarts <laughs> <laughs> or like taking care of herself and things around the house, like I don't even know where what happened to her. <laughs> you know what happened to me? What? My dad likes to do things for us. So I didn't know how to use a hammer or a screwdriver and I'd have to be like, hey, dad, every five seconds, anything, something went wrong because he likes to fix things for me. But now he's teaching me how to do things. I can use a power drill. So he evolved. We he both went, evolved. You both yeah. evolved. And you were able to say to him, dad, I need you to teach me because mm -hmm. in my childhood, you just did it. I don't know if that's what I said, but maybe he was getting tired of I'm having- I'm paraphrasing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm mind reading. I wasn't even there. Is this how it went? I think it just was like, maybe he was like, I can't come over to your house every other day when something is not working. So here, you press this button and then the drill turns around. <laughs> yeah, it's not that hard. No, not. <laughs> I like to do things for my kids though. Yeah, I really I, do. Yeah. There's some stuff where I'm not, I think, oh, they need to be doing this. And then there's a part deep inside of me that just wants to do it for them. But then also I really want it done right. But, okay. So what is something that you really like doing for your kids that you know they should probably be able to do th for themselves? Laundry. You like to do that? I love it. It's a problem. I go into their room and I sneak it. Why? I, I sneak the laundry. What do you like about laundry? Oh, all of it. I love okay. uh <laughs> I love my detergent. Okay. I love the smell. I love, I don't know. I take it from the washer to the dryer. My dog is barking. I don't know why. I take it from the washer to the dryer and then I get to take it out warm and fold it and then I get to put it away. Is it a control thing? I don't know. Yeah, you got to dig into that because laundry is one of my least favorite things. Oh no, I love it. And, and the thing is both of my kids have they know how to do their yeah. own and we've actually added to their list of chores that they're responsible for. But like I said, I sneak it. Like Stashira <laughs> will, will You sneak say, doing their laundry. She'll say like, I was going to do my laundry today, but you already did it. And I'm like, I know. You're such a bad mom. <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, you could do my laundry. I probably would. If we lived together, I would. Okay. I honestly would enjoy that. What kind of laundry like, detergent do you I use? I like sorting it. You know, I do, I sort everything. I do darks, I do white, I do towels. And that's the thing with my kids. Sometimes they throw everything in together and it drives me that's crazy. That's what I do. No, 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 no. No, you don't. 
Yes, I do. No. <laughs> I actually do do that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I'm now going to like drive over to your house and do your laundry for you. I can't. I can't. Oh, my, oh you're asking about detergent. Yeah. So I'm going to look up the latest. So my friend Kat, my other friend Kat, Cryo Kat, I have a lot of detergent companies that I like, but <laughs> I have a lot. If you were to open up my cabinet, I have the the sheets, like the I love sheets laundry, where you put a sheet in and it dis- dissolves oh, like the soap. That's cool. It's not in a, a yeah. pod, like a Tide pod. Yeah, it's really cool. I have probably four different brands of detergent in my laundry cabinet. Do you have like separate for towels and then clothes, sheet detergent and denim? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So the one that Cryo Cat just got me hooked on is ginger mango from method and they don't even sell it really in the stores anymore so at least i haven't been able to find neither has she and she loves it and so i ordered it on amazon i have it linked in my amazon page which you can find at radio amy if you want to see any of the things that i ever talk about just so you make sure you're getting the right thing earlier this year gracie mokler was on and we were talking i was telling her about my ice cube i gave you one the glow cube Uh uh-huh And I guess people couldn't figure out the right link and there was a lot of other brands and I get that desire of making sure, am I ordering the right one? Because I don't want to get one that's bad or not right. And so I'm sure anyone that you ordered would be fine, but I have the correct glow cube up there now and linked. So everything should work. And some of my Amazon page stuff has been a little bit wonky. That's probably why the glow cube wasn't working, but I think we have it all figured out. (laughs) It was definitely a project to get with Amazon and that and make sure that it was working. But anyway, mango ginger or ginger mango, technically is the way you say it. Do you use that for your jeans? No, just laundry. Okay, in general. General, Mm -hmm. okay. The brand though where I have like a denim wash, I think that's the laundress. Mm -hmm. And I have Myers. (laughs) I have Woolite. Do you use the dryer balls? No, I don't no. use dryer balls. Or is I that, use dryer sheets. I think there's a ball that you can put in your, I don't know. I'm not, I just use whatever is in the, the closet what? and everything's the same. Except I for I do have special sheets detergent because I want them to smell good. What is that? The Volcano. Is that the, the candle ca- brand? Uh-huh. Oh. The Capri Blue. They so do a detergent. You go high end for the sheets? Yeah. yeah. And Well, sheets and towels, and, unless I'm putting towels in with my other clothes. I don't know that I would want towels but here's the thing good? like some your towels need to be washed on hot in really my, in my opinion wait and okay i didn't clothes, know this we i don't know that i'm speaking fact i'm speaking my life rules other people may not abide by this but in my world okay <laughs> towels are washed together on hot because because hot kills germs okay so I have not been killing and the germs. And then also, if I wash my white towels and there's little fuzzies that come off and they get on a black shirt that I wash it with in my normal clothes, I don't want the cross-contamination. <laughs> 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 okay. And, That's fair. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I think I just am a little lazy with it because I, I hate doing laundry, but you like it, so you're more tedious with it. Right. It. So I put okay. all the darks on cold and then if do you I- Do you do your to- colors on- Cold? Yes. Colors on cold, whites, whites on, on warm. Hot. Okay. I need you to make me a chart. Towels on hot. I mean, I think it's on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like this is, I don't know that, I, it, I don't know where I, I could be, again, not a laundry expert here. Yeah. This is just what I have always done and it works for me and it makes me feel good. You know what I think has happened to me? What? Because my mom made us do our laundry when you're, we were younger. She gave us each a laundry basket and said, you're now in charge of doing your laundry. And I would separate, I didn't really know how. And also I was very particular as a child. I separated every single thing. So I've had like one yellow shirt, I would wash it by itself. I've had like two green somethings, I would wash them by myself. So I would do like 12 loads of laundry. Well, that's a waste. Yeah. Well, my mom didn't have to do it. So I don't think she cared. But I think I got sick of that. And I was like revolting against that. And now I'm like, "Mm, put everything together. Yeah. See what happens. <laughs> Throw it all in. <laughs> yeah, I, I that works. Yeah. I mean, you and my kids, if y'all want to do that. But for now, I'm going to keep sneaking in and doing, getting their laundry out of their closet and doing it real quick and then putting it away. And then being like, <laughs> nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> all good. Oh. And then my kids are going to grow up and not know how to do their laundry. Ugh. Didn't mean to go off on that tangent, but let me tell you, Ginger Mango Method brand, get your hands on some of that. <laughs> Kat, where can people find you? On Instagram at, at kat.defada and 
at You Need Therapy Podcast. And then you can listen to You Need Therapy Podcast wherever you like to listen to podcasts. Hit us up on emails for the fifth thing, four things with Amy Brown at gmail.com. Or if you've got a four things episode idea or comment or thought, you can email me there as well at Radio Amy on Instagram and RadioAmy.com. Again, for the Amazon page or links to Espoir, a four things gratitude journal, which itself said she got for Christmas, which I love that so much. Kat, do you think quickly you could rattle off four things off the top of your head that you're thankful for? Mm, yes. Go. Um, laundry detergent, nice grocery stores that things are organized well in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> like an organized grocery store. Patrick, <laughs> your boyfriend, Big P. Oh, yeah, Patrick and saltine crackers. I'm on a like a food jag with them. Okay. I quickly, late July tortilla chips, my jam right now. And since we're talking so much about it, ginger mango, method detergent, <laughs> coffee. Mm. I love a good iced latte still. Here we are in the mm. dead of winter and I am still drinking iced. I have not switched over to hot. It's what you like. I like what I like. And uh, my kids. Wow. <laughs> and that they let me do their laundry. (laughs) So that's how gratitude works. You can really, like if you think of things, it will snowball into other things, which then snowball into, for me personally, having perspective about my life and puts me in a better mood and I'm able to tap into more joy. And our Four Things Gratitude Journal is an amazing tool for gratitude. So if that's something you're interested in, it's a great gift. They're super cute. And the best part is it's a win-win purchase because 100% of the proceeds go towards education in Haiti. So you can hit up fourthings.com for the journals. And then don't forget franklintheater.com. That'll be this Friday that you can go there at 10 a.m. That's when the tickets will go on sale for the live in Nashville. And I posted about on Instagram the other day and I got some DMs from people that are coming from out of town and they were curious about hotels, Franklin versus Nashville. And Brentwood is right in between. And there's some good hotels there, like, you know, nice hotels. It's not going to be anything that's like in downtown Nashville, but I don't really know that you want to be caught up in that craziness. Quite honestly, you could stay somewhere that's a little bit outside of downtown and then get around town by going down to Franklin and then you want to go into Nashville to do whatever, but downtown Franklin is adorable. So I'm very excited to be doing it at the historic theater there. So tickets will be this Friday, 10 a.m. for Things Live in Nashville. And I hope y'all are having the day that you need to have. Bye. Bye. This Father's Day, the Home Depot has the perfect gift to help dad be everything he can be. Because your dad is more than just a dad. He's the groundskeeper of the yard, the perfecter of the patio, and the cleaner of the clippings. This Father's Day, power dad's doing with the convenience and gas-like power of Milwaukee cordless outdoor tools from the Home Depot. Plus, get up to $150 off select Milwaukee tools. Find the perfect Father's Day gift at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Shop for Father's Day now in stores or online at homedepot.com. There are some things that are too good to keep a secret. Like how your Amex Platinum card helps you have the perfect trip. I'd like to check into the Centurion Lounge. Or how it seems like you always get those hard-to-snag tables. Ooh, yum. And how you get the most out of select can't-miss events. With access to the Centurion Lounge, Resi Priority Notified, and Amex card member benefits at select events... You'll have to share. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash with Amex. This is Malcolm Gladwell from Revisionist History. eBay Motors is here for the ride. With some elbow grease, fresh installs, and a whole lot of love, you transformed 100,000 miles and a body full of rust into a drive that's all your own. Brake kits, LED headlights, whatever you need, eBay Motors has it. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, It's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Plus, at these prices, you're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply.